In this video, Bill, I want to show you uh, some of the features, some of the features in Jing, and how to use Jing a little bit. Um, once you downloaded it, you should see at the top of your screen this little kind of yellow ball, and you could roll your cursor over it, and it'll open up. And this, these crosshairs here are to capture the screen. Um, getting away from that. This one here tells you your history, like what you recorded, what you captured. And this one here, nuts and bolts, is kind of gives you a clue uh, to your settings. What I suggest you do is you go to your settings and click on preferences and make sure you're selecting or you have the right audio device. Like if you have a microphone um, that it is picking up that microphone. Right now I'm using my Logitech mic. It will automatically find the devices you have connected to your computer. Uh, this microphone here, or these microphones here are like part of the laptop, but they're kind of cheesy. So uh, anyway, uh, just click on the device you want to use and you should be set. And then when you're done, just click finish, because you don't want to click exit Jane, because then you'll get out. Um, and that's that. And up here, real quick, just look at the history that I have. This shows you, uh, these are all of the videos that I captured. You can see over here the type. Read off to the right, it says SWF video, the date I recorded it, blah, blah, blah. And you could click on any one of the videos that you recorded, and you could do a couple things. You could view it, you could share it with somebody, and what that will do it was will generate will generate a a web address that you could send to somebody, and they could simply click on that web address and they could view it, or you could just get rid of it. Um, so let's show you how to capture. So let's click on, left click on that, and it brings you crosshairs, and you could capture as much as you want. You could capture like that much, and get rid of it, or we could capture like a lot. Um, by the way, this is the uh, website you want to go to to download Jing, which is the link I sent you in the email. Anyway, once you select an area, you have a couple options down here. The first one is capture an image, and capture an image is just like what I did in the last email where I just captured a static shot of what was on the computer screen, and we could do that. So I just captured the image, and we can see here that it it created a frame, Gene created a frame, and you can name it. You could say Bill's image, not that this means anything. Uh, options are here is to save it to your computer, like to your hard drive. Um, you could share it, meaning I could click this and it will create a web address and that web address you could send to somebody and they could click on it and then just, it just pops up. Get rid of that. So let me go there. I'm going to paste that web address that it just created right there and go to it, and we should see the image that I just captured. Oh, come on. There it is. There you go. That's the image that I just captured about 10 seconds ago. All right, and so let's go and try some other things. Let's, let's capture a video, or actually let's capture an image again. So we'll do what I did, capture, image, okay. Now what we could do is we could share it with somebody, which I showed you before, save it to your hard drive. I do this, by the way, when I pay for bills online, I capture my receipt. Or we could copy it, and I'm going to copy it, and this is exactly what I did with you before. Copy the image that I just captured, and I'm going to make an email, and this is the email I'm making you right now, and I'm going to paste the image I just captured. And I just, I pasted it by um, using Control-V or 
you could also right click and use the paste. But anyway, there you go. So that's how you use Jing to copy and paste images that are on your screen. And finally, we could make a video. And by the way, I am not using Jing to make this video because if I was, I probably couldn't show you all the features in Jing. I'm using another more expensive program. So let's capture a video. So hopefully your, your mic is plugged in and it's working. Uh, and so now I'm, Jing is actually capturing what's on the screen right here. It's going to pick up my cursor that's moving around. It's going to pick up whatever I'm typing here. And it's also going to pick up my voice. And then I could stop it. And I could generate, have Jing generate a link. And that link can simply be entered in a browser and send, you know, send that to somebody and they could type it in their browser and um, they could view the video. Uh, you could look at the video right now. And so now Jing is actually capturing what's on the screen right here. It's going to so that Jing lets you preview what you just created. You could make a URL out of it, save it to your computer, get rid of it. Um, let's create a, a URL, a link. Give it a, about a minute or two to do that. And once that link is created, you could paste that in an email, send it to somebody like I've done with you before. Uh, or if you want to view it right now, you go to your browser and paste the link in the browser. And you'll get the Jing window and a player to play the video. It's working. So now, Jing is actually catching... That was me talking in the video. Anyway, kind of neat. Uh, have fun. Hope you enjoy it.